Hello everyone. Uh, this is my second video lecture on consolidation of swile. In the last uh, video lecture, we have discussed about the introduction of consolidation and uh, different types of the consolidation. Okay. And in today's lecture, I will discuss about the spring analogy. Okay. Before going for that, just I uh, will brief you about the consolidation. As you know, the consolidation is nothing but it is a process of decrease in the volume of the soil mass due to the removal of the water from a saturated soil mass without replacement of water by air. Okay. So now, uh, about the spring analogy, you can see in the diagram. Uh, there is a spring dashboard model this is called as okay it consists of a cylinder which is connected with a spring and supported by a piston okay? and it also consists of a regulating wall okay where uh, the outflow of the water can be regulated with this wall and there is a load which is applied on this uh, cylindrical container and it is with the water okay so here uh, let the initial stress in the spring be sigma naught dash under its own weight and that of the piston and the spring is deformed due to this stress suppose a load is applied on the piston when the valve is in closed condition so as to cause an additional stress of delta sigma on the spring water system if the spring has to share this additional load it has to undergo a deformation as the water filling the dashboard is incompressible it will not allow the deformation of the spring so as the spring cannot deform it cannot take any additional stress and thus the entire additional stress applied will be taken by the water in the dashboard the mechanism of consolidation was demonstrated by tarzagi by means of piston and spring analogy here the spring is compared to the swile grains and the dashboard is compared to the swile whites filled with the water under stress the wall represents the drainage base. Let the initial stress in this wall be sigma naught dash under its own weight and this wall is deformed due to this stress. Suppose an additional load is applied on this wall water system to cause an additional stress of delta sigma. If the wall grains have to share this additional load they have to undergo deformation as the water filling the swile whites is incompressible it will not allow the deformation of swile grains as the swile solids cannot deform they cannot take any additional stress and thus entire additional stress applied is taken by the water filling the whites Okay, in this figure, you can see uh, spring piston is there and the valve is open here. Okay, uh, this is similar to the swile before loading condition. You can see uh, the valve is closed and the piston is loaded. The pressure increase in the gauge is equal to the increased load. This is similar to the condition that just after the loading. When valve is opened, the piston start to move down and the pore pressure is gauge reduced. The applied load is now shared by both spring and water. At final stage, the pressure gauge shows at most pressure or load is taken by spring. 
the amount of settlement in the spring is depends on the stiffness of spring the rate of settlement depends on the uh, valve opening in this analogy the drain structure represents the spring while the white spilled with the water represents the cylinder the valve opening is represented by the permeability of the soil mass and the rate of load transfer from water to soil depends upon the permeability and boundary conditions and also the pressure that builds up in a pore water due to load increment on the soil is termed excess pore pressure or excess hydrostatic pressure